since we met. So many things have tried to tear us apart, but we've kept God first no matter what, and He's allowed us to stand before Him on this day. I vow to always be your home, where you find comfort, love, and rest. I vow to always be your peace, even when I'm hangry, but you already know how to handle that situation. <laughs> I vow to always seek solutions with you. I vow to keep you strong, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. I want you to know that you are respected, appreciated, and protected, and I will always uphold these values to you. Thank you for being my number one fan and supporter. Thank you for loving Skylar the way that you do, and thank you for putting Amari in my life to love as my own. Now we get to start our happily ever after, and I know we're years too late for me to be your first. But I'm here now, and I'm the first to be your last. Always and forever, you're Mrs. Robertson. That's one of the many reasons why I love you. One of the many reasons why I love you. I will always cherish you and never take you for granted. You are my blessing. God saved you for me, and he saved me for you. I always provide for you and our kids. And I'll protect you from anything and anyone. You are my peace. I'll go anywhere in the world with you. Because no matter where we're at, with you, I am home. I told you I wasn't playing about you. I love you. And I wanna say, I never Crazy. Crazy. 
all the way from the East Coast. I stuck out like a sore thumb to Karen when she noticed me walk by. She approached me immediately and asked if I was Filipino. I said, no. She also then proceeded to ask me if I like black men. And I, all I could do was just laugh. I looked at her, I laughed, and we laughed together. <laughs> she proceeded to tell me that the girl that I was with at the time was not a good friend to be around. Um, and that she was going to take me away from her and I was going to be her friend. I didn't know whether to run from Karen or run with her. <laughs> That's how I knew she was super serious about being my friend. From that moment, Karen made eyes on me at school. Little did I know I was already her. She claimed me as a friend before even knowing me. From there on, we were inseparable. Not only was she my friend, she was my family. She was home for me, away from home. The best friend. <laughs> it's not that. Come on. The best friend, sister, I needed when I came to California. When you're around Karen, her presence just makes you happy. You have no choice but to laugh and have a good time. Her energy, her smile, her personality, and her goofy laugh are a few good of her are a few good traits about her. Not saying she has any bad ones, but if you know Karen, then you know Karen. <laughs> If you were to ask me 16 years ago if my best friend was getting married, I would have laughed and joked about it. Now fast forward 16 years later, here I am making this speech for her special day. We went days, weeks, months, and years that we didn't get to talk or see each other, but our bond was always there. Nothing has changed but the location. From California to North Carolina, our, our hearts are still synced. No matter where we are, we will always find our way back to one another. I'm thankful to have you in my life and being able to witness the celebration of love on this joyful day. Wishing you nothing but the best. Always remember, for better and for worse, and to death do you part. Congratulations to you two on your new journey, Mr. and Ms. Robertson. Cherish it. Love it. She loves you. She meant a lot with you. And we all know, you know what I mean? Through access, through life, you know what I mean? She never once showed anything but loyalty. So, Karen, you know, it's hard to walk through to the family because you've been a family, you know what I mean? We already had conversations, you know, like, you know what I mean? So, I love you, your family, Skylar, protect me, you know, anything she needs, we got. Uh, I want to say congratulations to the Robertsons. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do a toast. Part one. Everybody put the glasses up. Part one. Part one. Part one. So we're gonna make a little step high for this. You feel me? So this half is for Dom. He's happy. He's looking down, smiling. I'm proud. You win. You won. You feel me? You got your family, man. You got everything you need, you feel me? Continue to grind, pray, keep God first, man. I love you. Toast up. When you meet somebody that's as deeply in love with you as you are them, it's a beautiful day. Amen. Right? Absolutely. We've had some great time together. Mr. And Mrs. Robertson. Man, this sounds good. This sounds good. Yeah. Sound good yeah. I just wanted to say you guys are truly lucky. And like Steve Hardy said, she got to be just a little bit cuter than your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and and when when you look at him and when you look at her, when you guys see the actual love in each other, that's what's gonna hold that bond. First thing that I want to know, always talk things through. Keep God first. Family, family's always got you. So, uh, where everything's going, I pray for uh, God to give y'all financial favor, favor over your health, favor over your mentally and everything, and just to cover y'all with blood, whatever, whatever y'all go through. It's always about talking to each other, brother. Uh, First, so you know, I want to give a toast to my brother James, to the Robinsons, blessings to you, bro. I'm happy I 
was able to just tell him I'm happy for him. I'm proud of him. And from this day forth, Karen, you got another brother. And no matter what, I got y'all guys. Like, no matter what it is. All right? So, hey, everybody pick this up one more time. One more time. One more time. And we're going we're gonna to cheers. We're going to, like, be happy and celebrate the Robinsons, the new ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, salute. I'm going to share a story with you guys. So, when James um, got diagnosed with cancer in July last year, we didn't know what was going to happen, we didn't know the outcome. We made an appointment at the Sacramento City Hall to elope, and we didn't tell anybody. But the day that our appointment came, James's side effects hit really hard, and he was in the back the whole time, and I was like, that's a sign. And we're not supposed to do that. So this day was really special for us to be able to share this with all of you. And I'm thankful that all of you were able to come and make it from far away. And I know it's a weekday, sorry. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys are all here. And I thank you guys for coming, the support. My friends, I would call just to see how he's doing. Not even say hi to me or Skyler. You guys called for him, and I appreciate that. And I love every single one of you. I'm happy I'm able to meet every single one of you because I've seen your names on the guest list for a very long time. And I would always ask them, who's this again? Where are they sitting? Wait, what? So I'm just glad I'm now I'm putting faces with names and I'm so happy. So thank you guys for everything. Flying my private jet to Villas in Anguilla Then throw you on a grill that's cause seven days a week You're my five course meal for real <laughs>